So apparently at Gorilla's um, concert last night, a couple people were injured and one person got killed. This was like a stampede, I guess fans got out of control. I don't know the entirety of the story, but this brings me back to the Travis Scott concert. Several people died at that Travis Scott concert and a lot of people thought that it was a ritual, which it very well could have been. Um, that's neither here or there, but we have to recognize the music again that we're listening to. We have to understand that these people don't care about anything except getting their money. There is nothing promoted but violence and drugs, promiscuity, all these different things that mean us no good at all. Why would we go to concerts that are glorifying these types of things? If you're a Christian or even if you're not a Christian, a lot of people have been dying at these concerts. Supposedly they had a stampede and people were being trampled over and several people were injured and one was dead. Imagine the people's families and imagine them not knowing God, not being saved and you died at a concert and now your soul is going to perish in eternal damnation. All because of a song and an artist and us being so wrapped up and trapped into the world and society and what they impose on us. I'm quite frankly fed up with it. I'm tired of Satan using the entertainment business to kill and devour God's people. We need to really stop listening to these artists. Even if you are if you have not given your life to Christ yet, and I say yet because I pray that all of you do come into the truth, stop listening to music that is glorifying murder. Stop listening to music that's glorifying drugs and alcohol and sleeping around. A lot of these people are not even about that life that they're talking about. They're doing it because there's an agenda to keep you in a, with a poverty mindset and to keep you from your destination, to keep you far away from God. We got Beyonce and, and Sierra and all these other women who are in the industry that are promoting being single and they're married. We have people that are promoting drug abuse. You know, I used to listen to Trippy Red, Playboy Cardi and all these people and all they talk about is getting high. And a lot of them overdose. So they don't even know that the agenda that they're pushing is going to eventually kill them as well. We have to stop overlooking everything and not thinking it, oh, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. It's just a song. It's just a, it's a, it's just a movie. No, they are planting demonic seeds. They are planting certain types of imagery in your mind to make you think that it's one thing and it's really the other. I don't care how much loyalty you have towards a celebrity or how much you like them or, or even an artist. Ask the Lord to show you the truth about these people and the agenda behind the system. And if you care so much about these artists, pray for them. Pray for them to come into the truth because the Lord wants them saved as well. But it's just, it's sad and it's like, why? First of all, why are we continuing to go to these concerts? Why are we continuing to put money in their pocket? We're continuing to just pay for these things that are killing people. Not only is it killing people mentally, physically, and spiritually, but literally, physically. We are literally, there are people literally dying. People have gone to these concerts and they don't come back home. They don't go back home. I mean, if that doesn't like put a righteous anger inside of you to make you want to war in the spirit for God's people and to pray against these dark principalities that are trying to overtake the world, then I don't know what will. We must come into truth and under subjection of who Christ is. You want to hear music that, you know, pleases your soul? Listen to some gospel rap. You know what I'm saying? There's other alternatives out here besides music that is killing you spiritually. Please, for your soul's sake, stop listening to these artists. Stop going to their concerts. Stop funding the agenda that the media is portraying. And really, 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 really think about where you want to go. Really think about who the Lord is. You're not gonna be young forever. You're not gonna always have those looks. You're not always gonna have that body. You're not always gonna have a good talk game. And them drugs are not gonna last forever. Start thinking about your eternal destiny. Start thinking about where you wanna be in 10 to 20 years, if you're even gonna be alive, because half of those people in the world don't even make it out. This is why I give God thanks and the glory, because I could have been taken out of here. I could have been taken out prematurely, and I would have been damned.
I could have been taken out with the tricks that I was, you know, pursuing, making money, have taken drugs. I could have been taken out. The Lord could have just let me go. I could have been killed out here. I was thrown in people's trunks. I know what it is to come from that lifestyle and you can come out. Take your spirituality seriously. And I'm not talking about no new age demonic crap. I'm talking about being one with the father, experiencing the supernatural and being renewed and transformed into a new creation in Christ. I love you guys. Please, please, please take heed to the messages because tomorrow is not promised. And at least we know that if tomorrow is not promised, that our eternity will be secure when we are in Christ Jesus. I love you guys.